on here with the owner. Um, he owns all this, and that's his son over there. Doing doing okay. Yeah. Um, this is uh, this is the owner right here. He he's the one on the dozer. So, how long have you been doing this? All my life. All your that life. I'll soon be 80 years old. 80 years old. And it's the only job I've ever had. Uh, I'm a deputy sheriff for over 21 years. Deputy sheriff for over 21 years. Or something like that. Thank you for your service. So your dad's the one that started all this? Yeah. So it's been in the family for quite a few years then? Yeah. Well, that, that boy right there. This is a great grandson working here. So it's family owned business. There's five of the grandsons. There's five of the grandsons that work here. So they're taking care of their family and that's what people should do. Take care of each other. And there's a hard working man right here. You are a very hard worker. I don't think work has killed as near as many people as lazy man. I think that's what kills us, don't it? That's what I think anyway. Yes, sir. Now, I see you got this machinery right here. Does that rip all the limbs off of it? Yeah. Now, where would, those trees are going to be chipped, or are they going to be... Yeah. Well, they'll, they'll be... Uh, you know, they'll be paper chipped. Okay, that would be paper chipped. And then... Yeah. When they go over there, put them through the deep water, uh -huh. that would go from the paper. These other ones go to the steel mill. They go to the saw mill. The bark don't hurt the steel mill. So they just burn it for the heat. Uh, it, it's got to be part of the bridge. I thought they used it in the performance field. It's got to be in the metal. It's in the metal, the wood is. So they're actually putting wood in the metal. Yeah. Four chipping John Deere is the biggest customer. Did you hear that, folks? They take these they're chips and they take them to the steel mill. And John Deere and all them are their biggest customer in building that still. Then there will go for paper. And that will go to for paper over there. And then these all be uh, lumber, correct? Yeah. Well, sir, uh, thank you for your letting me see your operation. You're more than welcome. And what's the name of your company? Corporate Arcata Chipping Incorporated. Did you guys get that? Yes, sir. Uh, we'll get we've got pictures of your truck. So, so if you need anyone from the southeastern part of Ohio, yeah. to call you. You like that? You got timber that won't cut. Yeah. If you got timber that needs cut, they give you a fair market price. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they're really great people. And like I say, that's the fifth uh, great grandson right there working. One guy was cutting up with the big the cutter. Big cutter. Uh -huh. Now that was another great grandson to my mom and dad, but a different uh, brother. You know what I mean. Right. So your family's been, uh, all of you guys have been in the logging business oh, then? Yeah. yeah. Like I said, dad before us. Before you. Yeah. You really have a great operation. You're so efficient. I just love it. Uh, I love it because nothing's wasted. Right. You don't have the top of the brushway now. Right. Oh yeah, it's gonna grow back in a brand new forest. Yeah, it's gonna come back even too. Right. When he says it comes back even, what he's talking about, see how those logs are straight, no limbs. That's what you want. A tree on the market. Um, it can usually go what about 20 feet. Oh, yeah, yeah, 30, 20, yeah. 20 to 30 feet up, and then they go to the first knot or the first uh, limb, right? And that's what you see laying right here. You know, we've got a lot of work rate logs, too. Right. Logs are work more than the chip now. Yeah, yeah, most got definitely. Many to make oh, you're making money hand over fist, too. <laughs> Yeah, sure. You just gotta make a living. Yeah.
when you, you think about it, when you clear cut, you're taking every tree. Um, and of course, of this side, this mat is um, You can tell with the quality that's coming out of there. Uh huh. They, they, their lower species is what's left. Uh, from it already being lost. Yeah. A lot of times when you go through and just cut the better stuff, what they leave is the cattle. It'll be blind, crippled, crazy. Black spots in it, right? Yeah. Or hollow or yeah, I mean, root damage. Yeah. I mean, most of that is off wood. Hickory, scarlet oak. oak. Yep, scarlet oak, yeah, it's not very valuable. It, it's the worst of the black people in the black yeah. Right. Because it's lemmy, isn't it? The scarlet oak is real oh, lemmy. Yes, yeah. Now that's a shag bark hickory right there. Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, we all know what hickory nuts are. Yeah, that, that one on the bottom. Is that a king nut? Big nut. Big nut? Yeah. yeah. It takes a long time for them guys to be able to cut the trees to be able to do the best cut. Right. It's just like a beef or something. You know, if that guy in there can make a break, it's a load. Right. And you don't know what he's doing. Exactly. Well, he seems like he knows what he's doing. He does. He's been in there since he put boots in the tank. Oh, he's been in there his whole childhood, he's saying. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Well, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you very much, sir, for your Thank time. You. Thank you. And if, like I said, if you guys are uh, looking to have any clear cuts, Southeastern Ohio, Total's uh, Operation and Company, Back anytime you want. Uh, I sure appreciate it. Oh, no, off the camera. Will. Don't matter. You're still welcome. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs>